Hey, thanks for visiting us in Anderson, Indiana. This is our second annual brew fest that we're having here. Anderson really has made a big comeback when it comes to new industry moving in here. And of course, the great thing and the biggest thing is this brew fest. So we're glad you're here. We're glad all the vendors are here. Please come and visit us again next year. Hi, I'm Doug Sheets with Square Lane Brewing Company. My name is Sean Cook. I'm with Danny Boy Beer Works. Uh, so I'm Kelly from Trouble Brewing. Hey guys, I'm Spencer Coleman with 450 North Brewing Company. It's Sean Lewis from uh, Flat 12 Brewing. Hi, I'm Brian Nentrup with Hoosier Brewing Company. What's up, everybody? My name is Jason Werfel with Books and Brews. Hi, uh, this is Patrick from Beer Brewery. Dane from Triton Brewing Company. From Sugar Creek Malt Company. Grand Junction Brewing Company. Three Pines Brewing. Barley Island. Tier for Upland Breweries. Wood Bear Brewery. Taxman Brewing Company. I'm Matt Anthony Brewing Company. Oh, I'm Doug Sheets with Scarlet Lane Brewing Company. I'm one of the founders. Uh, we've got three flagship beers, Dorian Stout, Lenore Pale Ale, and Vivian Red IPA. Uh, so going along with Dorian Stout, we actually, it's a, it's a variation, so four times a year we change the stout. Right now it's the Coconut Stout, which is uh, one of our most popular uh, beers. Then over the winter time we did a Cranberry Espresso Stout, and then it changes from there. Uh, Vivian Red IPA is a Northwestern style uh, beer. We use Northwestern hops, very hoppy, ends with a little caramel color and flavor. And then the North Pale Ales have got a kind of a tropical fruit uh, nose and taste to it. Uh, it's very palatable for both people that like hops and don't like hops. My name is Sean Cook. I'm with Danny Boy Beer Works. We're located in Carmel, Indiana, in the villages of West Clay. And basically what we brought here today, we brought our uh, Mexicali, which is a Fiesta Mexican lager. We use Mexican yeast with a California grain bill on that one. It's a 4.2% beer, very crisp, clean, easy drinking, awesome summertime beer. Then we also have our ginger wit as well, which is considered a, it's a Boston urban wheat. It's 5.4%, a lot of coriander, lemon, very subtle ginger in it. And then we also have our rock and rolla, which is an all mosaic hopped IPA. So anything, anybody who knows anything about mosaic hops, they're basically steroid, uh, citra hops on steroids is what they are. So it's, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, skunky, great, good grapefruit flavor to it. Uh, so I'm Kelly from Trouble Brewing. We're uh, not open yet. We're going to be in Fort Wayne, Indiana, opening later on this summer. Uh, we're going to be a small uh, microbrewery with about a three barrel system tap room and we're going to be serving some food and um, bringing up the third production brewery to open in Fort Wayne with a couple others right behind us so we're looking to make Fort Wayne a, a real destination for craft beer drinkers. Hey guys I'm Spencer Coleman with 450 North Brewing Company out of Columbus Indiana. Um, we have featured today our Citra Fest Session IPA which is a 5% alcohol, 45 IBU session. Um, it's been incredibly popular here in Indiana lately. We're really grateful to everybody out there that's been drinking it. Uh, we ourselves are situated in the middle of cornfields in south central Indiana, just outside of Columbus. Uh, come on down, we've got, uh, one, we've got 27 wines, 12 beers, brick oven pizza, and uh, two different ciders. It's a pretty good time. Hi, I'm Caleb Bishaki. I'm from Sugar Creek Malt Company. Uh, we are a local craft malt house, uh, supplying local malt for local breweries, local distilleries. All of our malt comes from within 200 mile, 200 mile radius of Lebanon, Indiana, and uh, malted right there. Uh, we've got right now we're doing uh, base malts. We've got anything from a Pilsner to a Munich malt, um, and later on this summer we're planning on building a uh, smoking facility and a roasting facility to have all your specialty malts and all your smoked malts as well. Hey there, Sean Lewis from uh, Flat 12 Brewery, uh, serving some beer here today. We've got our Dan Patch Wit little collaboration we've done with the Hoosier National Park. A wheat beer with a uh, little bit of orange peel, coriander, and cilantro in it. And then we brought ourselves a little uh, cask ale here in a pin. It's our IPA with some yuzu. It's a little Japanese citrus fruit. A little bit of citra hops on top of that. Hi, my name is Carl, and I'm a volunteer for Upland Brewery. They have great beer from Bloomington, Indiana. Today, here at the, at the Anderson Brewfest, we have the Bach Nest Monster, which is a Bach, and it's fantastic, as well as the Wheat Ale, which is a, a, a great beer as well. Come on down, take a look, see what's going on. We're having a great time. Hi, I'm Brian Nentrup with Hoosier Brewing Company. We're based out of Shelby County, Indiana. 
and, and with one word I would say that this brewery, our business is a homegrown company where we have, with our hands, we put together our building, we build it from the ground up. Our beer is wildly different in that we focus on malt. We consider ourselves the malt kings out there. We've connected with a local maltier to be able to put local grain that has been malted here in Indiana. So both grown and malted in Indiana, which is something that has not been done very many times in the past. So something very unique in our beer. We consider ourselves um, the, uh, the, the main Hoosier brewery out there. Our, our company is Hoosier Brewing Company. And so we are all born and raised in, in Indiana. And I think that passion and that, that heritage comes through in each and one of our recipes. What's up, everybody? My name is Jason Werfel with Books and Brews. We're a combination used bookstore and brewery. We sell both used books and do a lot of creative things with beer. So our angle, since we're so small batch, is we do a new beer every single week. And then we take that new beer and we do something crazy with it. So today, I have my Imperial Red. It was called Fermentation 451. And the way we were creative with it in the five gallon keg, we put 150 atomic fireballs in it. So I call that version the pleasure to burn. It's a 10% red with all the fireballs. I also have anything from a classic IPA, a hoppy red, and I also have my Heather beer today. Uh, in, in Scotland before they brewed with hops, they brewed with Heather, and it's called uh, a frock, and it's, uh, my, my version is called a bar tail. Hi, uh, this is Patrick from Beer Brewery. I want to thank everybody for showing up today at the Anderson Brew Fest. Uh, we're a small brewery located on the northeast side of Indianapolis. We've been in business now about four and a half years, and like most of the people that are attending today, it's all about the beer with us. You know, we like to make fine crafted beers. We uh, like our, our American pale ale, such as our PDG, a very hop forward beer. Got a smooth, malty taste. Uh, I encourage everybody to stop by our tasting room and, and give us a try. You can hang out on the deck, fill your growlers. We're open Wednesday through Sunday. Hello, my name is Scott Hardwick, and I'm the marketing and media manager of Three Pints Brewing. We are in uh, Plainfield in Martinsville, Indiana. Uh, we are mom and pop owned, husband and wife, Ben Davis grads. They live in Morgan County. Uh, we specialize in well-balanced beers, although we have a brewer in our Plainfield location that... Uh, he gets to brew whatever he wants, so he does our more specialty batch, double IPAs, black saisons, but for the most part we specialize in well-balanced beers. Hi, we're here with Barley Island. Um, we're out of Noblesville, Indiana, downtown, been there 13 years. Getting ready to open a production brewery called Deer Creek, which will be coming up pretty soon. Uh, what we brought with us today is our sheet metal blonde, which we've had for 11 or 12 years now. The next two beers are Cork County Cream Ale, which was, uh, is a brand new one for us, and Mars and Smiller Fest, which is a lighter take on an Oktoberfest. All right, this is Wooden Bear Brewery, uh, coming to you live from the Anderson Brew Fest. Uh, we're trying to uh, create a family atmosphere in the brewery and create beers that are sessionable and enjoyable uh, for more than one pint. Hi there, my name is Colin McCoy. I'm the head brewer at uh, Taxman Brewing Company. We're a relatively new brewery down in Vargasville, Indiana. We're about 20 minutes south of Indianapolis. Uh, we're a Belgian-style brewery, which means that we use all uh, Belgian-style yeast and uh, Belgian influences, which create unique spice and flavors in the beer. Uh, also, we have a 200-seat gastro pub down there, so it's a really great destination brewery. Dane from Triton Brewing Company. Uh, we're all about the water. We're over on the east side of Fort Benjamin Harrison, Indianapolis. Uh, we really do stuff well, guys. Drink our things. My name is Sean Kessel. We're uh, Grand Junction Brewing Company. Uh, what makes our beer different, uh, we have about nine different, ten different varieties that we like to do. All the way from uh, the lightest to the darkest to the hoppiest. Uh, we like to do authentic styles, try to keep them close to the style itself. So we have uh, really authentic German beers that are coming on, like a Hefeweizen versus our pre-prohibition style cream ale to a nice robust dark roast uh, ro uh, porter that we have. Plus, our, we do the fun beers like the uh, double IPAs, the West Coast style IPAs that we do with Amarillo, about 9%, things like that. Right, Blaine Stuckey, co-owner and founder of Matt Anthony Brewing Company, having a great time in Anderson. Uh, do festivals every weekend, and we love sharing our craft beer with our friends. Lately, this summer, Summer Days has been a wicked tasty brew, available now in the can all over the state of Indiana. Cheers.
I'm John with Design Works, and we build custom uh, beverage coolers, which this guy is a beverage cooler. We also build what they call jockey boxes, which are portable keg dispensing boxes, and uh, we work for all the Indiana breweries. We've got a couple of our boxes here today, and uh, we're having a great time in Anderson today. Yeah, I am uh, Sugar from What Works. We're from uh, downtown Pendleton, and we upcycle, recycle, repurpose junk into art. Um, I hand paint as well as weld. Uh, if you can find it in a dumpster on the side of the road, at an auction, at a rummer sale, and dream it up, I can create it. All right, so basically we have uh, we have two vendors here today. We have uh, Iron Tendencies, uh, custom lighting and furniture. Uh, do all kinds of custom woodwork, uh, tables, knife magnets, anything that you can think of, custom wood furniture, lighting, uh, metal work, he does it all. Uh, we also have Rugged Company, uh, it's a male, men's fashion line, has everyday products that men can use for beard oils, beard bombs, soaps, things like that, uh, t-shirts, uh, eventually we'll have a, also a full fashion line of uh, wardrobe as well. Hi, I'm Elliot Reed, I'm the owner of Park Place Arts, it's an art gallery, photography studio, and custom frame shop. In, here in Anderson, and got a booth here at Brewfest and selling some reclaimed wares and uh, some fine art photography today. Hi, my name is Heather, and I'm from the Madison County Humane Society. Um, we are uh, a nonprofit organization that helps place uh, homeless animals within Madison County into loving forever homes. Hi, my name is Gabrielle McGuire of Gabby Gabby Hay. I sell on Instagram and Etsy. I take salvage books, dictionaries, hymnals, and I repurpose them and turn them into wearable jewelry, which are sentimental pieces of art. They turn out quite lovely. Hi, my name is Justice Hall. Um, this is my new business. It's called Strings Attached. I do string art and make it, and I sell it, and I do classes as well. Uh, Main Stage Theater is, a, is basically just a community theater. It has been in operation for roughly 60 years. It's all local talent, pretty much. None of it is professional. Um, we do all different kinds of plays, musicals and straight plays. Um, it's a good place for people to get their first chance to do theater. It's also a good place for people to see their first theater because it's very family friendly. And it also has many different flavors of theater. They do a very wide variety of, of different kinds of shows and things like that. Hi, I'm Karen Gorman, and this is an example of some of the kind of artwork that I do. I paint on recycled windows and glass, and I'm also an art teacher in Alexandria, and my band is gonna be playing later, Yukon Fox, and here's my stuff. Hey, my name is Ben Orcutt. I own uh, Jackrabbit Coffee. We're a mobile coffee shop, so we actually tow our cart around with a tricycle. But you'll find us downtown Anderson. We park at the corner of 9th and Meridian every morning, 7.30 to 10.30. So we're full service espresso. Our lattes, mochas, cappuccinos. We've got really good iced coffee, whatever you like. So yeah, you'll find us here in Anderson. We're also housed in Buckskin Bikes, a bicycle shop right over on West 11th Street. We're there in the afternoons. Hi, we're the Crooked Hookers. My name's Sarah. This is Brittany and Kinsley. We are a locally owned crochet business here in Anderson. We have everything from cute little dolls to handmade rugs out of t-shirts, jeans, anything you can think of. Hi, my name is Justin J. McIntosh, and I'm actually a painter of bars, breweries, and beers. I'm one of the heads of a group called the Dump Bucket Brew Crew, and we are very proud of not only my artwork, I do oil paintings of bars and breweries, but also we do videos of all the festivals we go to in order to help promote craft beer, as well as breweries, as well as other people within the industry.
come to bear the weight of the millions. He come to bear the weight. Hey.